Hello and welcome to this episode of the 1 160 of a second photography podcast. In this episode today I'm going to talk about a cosplay shoot I did. Well I did many cosplay shoots because I actually went to the MCM Comic Con in London. Now at the moment you may hear some banging and tinging and strange noises because it's a miserable day here in Britain. It's not cold but it's rainy and it's wet and I'm actually sat in my car recording this and obviously you might hear the rain on the roof so I do apologise for that. So I went to MCM Comic Con in London and I had a really good time and I went there specifically to do a cosplay shoot because I've wanted to do a cosplay shoot for some time but it's actually quite difficult to find a good cosplayer, it's quite difficult to meet up with a cosplayer so I went to the MCM Comic Con in London I'd already arranged to meet a cosplayer there and I just wanted to walk around and get some images of cosplayers and, and, and just do some general sort of event photography and portraits. So why was I interested in doing cosplay? Well, it really appeals to me and it's quite a fast growing sort of market. Not a market that I would sell a service, but certainly I've noticed over the years that cosplay has certainly increased in popularity and there are lots of people doing cosplay. They spend a lot of time and money making themselves look like a certain character. They make their own costumes and they put a lot of time into it. So cosplayers find getting images from a good photographer really useful because they put so much time and effort into making those costumes. So I wanted to travel light, I had to get there on the train, so I took with me a bag and a rucksack and in my last episode I talked for quite a long time about bags and things, so I took a rucksack bag and I took with me my Canon 550D 35mm f2 IS lens and a flash and some flash triggers and I picked the Canon 550D because I wanted a light camera and that's much lighter than my Canon 5D although my Canon 5D is full frame. Now I wasn't too bothered about low light performance because I wanted to use flash where possible and I also took with me the Fuji X70 as a small compact camera and that works really well in low light anyway so I wasn't concerned about low light portraiture or the the challenge of low light portraiture with the APS-C Canon camera because I knew I'd be using flash and I had a very fast lens at f2 so I was quite confident I'd be okay. I took the Fuji X70 as well because that has a 28mm field of view equivalent in 35mm terms and with the Canon 550D and the 35mm lens I was looking at approximately a 50mm field of view. And that was fine for me because that was the ideal focal length for portraits of this type. It's not just about getting the head in, it's about getting the body in. You don't want to be too wide, you don't want to be too telephoto. So 50mm was fine. Again, travelling light, I took a brolly kit, a last light brolly kit, which is basically a grip. You can attach your flash to it and it points forward and you can slot an umbrella in. So that was light, it didn't take up too much room. Thankfully, because the bag I took had a tripod section, I could just put it in there and it wasn't a bother. And I took triggers that allowed me to trigger a flash from the Canon camera or from the Fuji camera. I just took a good set of universal triggers for any brand. That did mean that I wouldn't be able to do high speed sync. I was prepared to live with that and that was fine. I got there and it was busy and lots going on but thankfully there were lots of cosplayers there and I got there in the morning and I would walk around and I would say to people do you mind if I take your picture and, and I would do it in a nice polite way I, if they were busy I'd, I'd just wait to the side and wait sort of wait my turn it might be they were be having their photo taken with a photographer or a friend or someone just stopped to do a selfie with them I politely waited my turn and then I'd ask them if I could take a picture with them. I had cards made up which had my email address on so that people could retrieve their picture later but I forgot to take them. Only one person said can I have your email address. Obviously the person I pre-arranged to do a shoot with they had my email address already but of the people that I stopped and said oh can I take your photo that would be really good. One person said can I have your email address and I freely gave it out. I did say I would send over images and I, there's nothing wrong with sending over images. I, I, I see it as a fair trade. I would happily send over images but the problem is once you leave an event like that you don't have any way of getting into contact with people unless you take phone numbers or emails or you give them out and as I said I forgot my set of cards. So the flash images came out really well and what I really liked was I could shoot at quite a high shutter speed. I, I shot with flash at 160th of a second on the Canon. I tended to use the X70 just for more walking around so the X70 shots look quite event style, just people posing, standard sort of thing. And I was shooting those with an ISO of around 1600 at f2.8. 
and and they came out fine and i could quickly get some snaps and i got some quite good street photography images as well while i was there of things i observed but they looked very much like an event set of photos to make the images more dramatic i wanted to use flash and i'm so glad i brought the flash with me because otherwise the images looked fairly dull without flash with the canon i could get a nice out of focus background and that made the images pop a little bit and particularly in editing but as remember we're dealing with people who are dressed up as aliens who were blue who were green or have you know have very striking sort of features iron man for example was there so we want to get a really striking image and flash does help with that now what i liked about flash was using the canon camera even at f2 i got a very subdued background particularly in certain places because it's all indoors you can go outside and in cosplay the, i think the background can be quite important so whether you have no background, i.e. it's black or it's dark, can set the mood. So some really good cosplay images are done in a background that sort of fits in with that character. So it might be in a forest for a fighter, or it might be in a grassy place. Oh, I don't want to have all the images in just like an, an event setting. I bumped into a Harley Quinn, or a woman dressed as Harley Quinn. She said, oh, where do you want to take a picture of me? And I said, just here against this sort of shutter. And it had this tape running across that said, please don't cross. And what was good was the tape was red and part of her costume was red. So it fitted together. And I wouldn't say it looked like a police line or, or police tape, but it certainly did give something to the image rather than just shooting against a wall. Other images I took against a wall, but it was a grey wall. So it really made it sort of have a, a sort of urban dystropic feel. Um, yes, that's what I was going for. An urban dystropic feel. But flash allowed me to not collect as much ambient light. And that meant when I got back and I was doing editing and raw edits, I could actually get the background to be black. And so the emphasis was only on the costume, only on the cosplayer. And that was really good. And I wouldn't have been able to achieve that without flash. Flash also gave some nice dramatic effects and gave some nice shadows. And, and really it's shadows that help build a dramatic image. So I was really pleased that I took my flash with me. So people are quite happy, people are quite relaxed, they're quite happy to pose for you, and some of them will pose. They'll get out props and that covers things like swords, guns, umbrellas, what, whatever else. I didn't want to take a light stand with me, I thought that would be overkill. And what was really useful was I could often get a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a companion to hold the flash for me. And that's where using the brolly kit came in handy because people won't know how to hold a flash, how to point it. With the brolly kit, there's just a grip to hold and they just hold that and you just say, yeah, stand at 45 degrees, point it down at 45 degrees and, and they can cope with that and, and that's fine and, and they can do that. And then you can just sort of give them subtle direction. So what would have been really good was to use more than one flash, but I just knew that that wouldn't be in any way possible. It was just me. I didn't have an assistant. I certainly wasn't going to take any light stands with me. And things like tripods and light stands, then they're also going to be hard to get past security and they're not going to be allowed. So I didn't take them. Certainly in terms of editing, I made my colours really vibrant. I tended to drop the saturation because that's the sort of style it has, a dystopian style to it. And I tended to put in a lot of vignetting and raise shadows and drop the blacks. There's a certain style for editing for cosplay. And hopefully I did that well. So what have I learned from doing a cosplay shoot? Well, I found it's very enjoyable. I found people are very nice and people want to have their picture taken, which in this day and age is not unheard of, but not what you would expect. I would thoroughly recommend going to MCM Comic Con in London and taking some pictures of cosplayers. In terms of the actual event, I didn't really look around it too much. There were things that interested me, like you doing some VR and some other things and, and some stalls, but I primarily went there for photography and that's what I did and, and then I left shortly afterwards. And getting there it was quite good, it's not too bad to go on the tube and I always enjoy travelling through London with a camera because there's always so many interesting things to take pictures of and I got some really good street images as well on that trip. So again I would thoroughly recommend it. So let me know your thoughts on cosplay. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter and the Twitter link will be in the show descriptions. And you can support me on Patreon if you want to support the show. And also you get to access the show earlier and you get access to some bonus footage as well. So thank you and goodbye.